Defense Department says that the U.S. military has to fight insurgents and terrorists using their tactics. To do that, Secretary Robert Gates is giving training in unconventional warfare the same importance as traditional warfare. And Gates wants traditional military and special operations units integrated. Gates says unconventional warfare is now the norm rather than the exception. The record of the past quarter century is clear. The Soviets in Afghanistan, the Israelis in Lebanon, the United States in Somalia, Afghanistan and Iraq. Smaller irregular forces, insurgents, guerrillas, terrorists, will find ways as they always have to frustrate and neutralize the advantages of larger regular militaries and even nation states will try to exploit our perceived vulnerabilities in an asymmetric way. Defense analyst Sam Brannon at the Center for Strategic and International Studies says Gates has ordered the Pentagon to stop fighting the Cold War. Despite lessons of Vietnam and elsewhere, our military has been almost singularly obsessed uh, across the board uh, with fighting another conventional military, a, another military that would line up on the battlefield and face us and fight us that way. Desert Storm in 1991 was the last conventional war fought by the United States. The U.S. pushed Iraqi forces out of Kuwait. The integration of special operations with conventional forces has been a long process. Richard Weitz is a defense analyst with the Hudson Institute. As it started in the Army, they adopted a new counterinsurgency doctrine which stressed the importance of fighting these kind of irregular warfares. Earlier this, there this year, they put out a national defense strategy which equated, said that irregular warfare was is just as important as a conventional warfare in terms of development. The U.S. military has traditionally fought wars with massive numbers of ground troops, artillery and tanks, aircraft carrier task forces, and squadrons of heavy bombers. Now the Pentagon is focused on adapting these systems to unconventional warfare. For example, several ballistic missile submarines have been taken off the nuclear deterrent role and rebuilt as cruise missile launchers that can carry large number of Navy SEALs special forces. The submarines can have mini subs on their decks to carry the SEALs to shore. Non-traditional strategies also include civil reconstruction in conflict areas as a way of discouraging civilians from supporting no insurgents. No Recently, President Bush spoke about civil affairs units. These teams pair with military personnel, civilian experts in areas like economics and agriculture and law enforcement and education. In both Iraq and Afghanistan, these teams are helping local communities create jobs and deliver basic services and keep the terrorists from coming back. The Pentagon also says it wants to work with other nations in keeping conflicts from starting or raging out of control. Analyst Sam Brannan. Building the capacity of our partners, uh, and it goes to sending a clear message uh, that the United States is not an occupying force in the world, but it's a force for stability. Brannan says the Pentagon knows that working closely with local military units gives it a better understanding of the situation and how best to counter insurgents and a population that might support them. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.